We're here for something special. Something you haven't seen before. Something that we're restoring. Something very unique. You could say it's limited edition. You've seen some on our channel before, but this time, this is even better. So we're here at Pro Stitch in Sydney South. In the suburb of Carlton, we're here to have a look at some awesome cars. Welcome through. Here in the workshop, you find some extravagant vehicles. And look at this 911S. Absolutely amazing. Another very special Dino 246 GTS under the covers here. You've got all these old Volkswagen here, a Beetle, got a old Holden Ute back from the old days. Then outside is a black Cayman just sitting there. Not to mention the scooter on your left. But better still, our hidden gem is out in the back. Over here is a workshop where they do all the upholstery, as you can see, all the machines, all the old style machines, just to replicate old factories of how they used to do upholstery for old Ferraris, old Lamborghinis, old anything, Maseratis. Look at that. You see the workshop here? Then we come to this room. Look at this, a 911 early Targa being restored and better still on its right right in front of it is our Dino 246 GT 1972 the reason why Ferrari called this the Dino is after Alfred Alfredo which was Enzo Ferrari's son and here we have the Dino in honor of Enzo Ferrari's first son who passed away at a very young age and this car is in Giallo fly so it's a yellow color, being completely restored back to bare metal. Everything's been redone, hasn't been done as yet. John has finished all the upholstery. So the dash has all been retrimmed. Everything's been retrimmed, but the paint is immaculate. This is straight out of the booth. We've put the engine back into the car. It's all dusty. Everything's coming back together again. The car is going to be remarkable, phenomenal. And this is going to be our Concourse Dino 246 GT. Not to mention that with this car here, we've got all the paperwork from day one. So the original invoices, classic air, the whole lot. And this is it. A remarkable car. And that is part of today's garage update. Right now, we're going to make our way over to a new garage being built. And over here, we've got some pieces from the Dino. So you can see how original we're retrimming this car. To start off, this is Connolly for more leather, which is the old natural leather that Ferrari used for the Dino 246. Which, when you compare it to the parts that we've retrimmed, the center console, because this car here, our Giallo car, has the optional leather interior. As you can see, the grains are exactly the same, the color is exactly the same. The reason why is because we ordered this old piece from the factory and we're using it. Then we've got the dashboard over here, retrimmed in the original mouse hair. So if you look real closely, you can see the grains with the little mouse hair. This is the correct setup for the dashboard. You've got to retrim it in mouse hair, whereas other people use Alcantara. Alcantara is also a synthetic material, as you can see from the back. So it's man-made, like mouse hair. But some people use Alcantara, and you can see the difference. There's no grains in the Alcantara and the hair feels different to this so-called mouse hair and the color is quite different too so you can see the differences there between what's correct and what's incorrect then we've got the trim the upper door trim which is in the vinyl they've always been in vinyl for the Dino so this is retrimmed in the original vinyl so all the materials used are very old so being a pedantic person and being a person that loves concourse and to concourse cars, I wanted the car to be 100% correct. 
And the only person to do it was ProStitch, John at ProStitch, who looked after me and made sure that we found the exact same materials that we needed. And then lastly, we've got the Wilton wool. Here it is. This is what the carpets are made out of. This is an original piece from the factory. And we've re-trimmed the car in this, so everything remains original. So this is your little insight of what the Dino should be like and how the trimming process is done and what it all looks like in pieces. All we have to do now is put it back into the car and we can drive. Now it's off to the garage. Welcome to the Garage Update, 16 car garage in Sydney's eastern suburbs. So here we have it, still under construction, all brand new. So the garage is going to extend all the way down there. We've got all the pallets everywhere, so all the materials, all the electricals going down. Big steel beams here to hold up the rest of the house. And all around here, so all the high-end cars will be parked in this part of the garage, which is quite dark. All the more everyday usable cars will be parked in this side of the garage. So if you follow me, a lot of sand, but then you can see that we're just waiting for the concrete in to come in and all this will be concreted and the garage goes all the way there to the left. So this is going to be one big mega garage and this is it. This is the garage tour. Unfortunately, I'm very sorry, we, it's not finished. So we don't have the 16 cars in here to show you for now, but you can see the extent of this construction. So we've underpinned all the walls here which is a massive job. They had to drill all this out. We had to excavate everything out. And this is what the end result is. A mega, mega garage. And this is gonna be an exciting day once it's filled up with cars. And this is one off the other two garages. So there's one more garage to be unveiled, but that's taking its time under construction as well. So, now, let's take the BMW for a test. Now before we jump into the BMW M2, we've had some upgrades done to the car. ECU tune, airbox update, the whole lot. So what we're going to do is roll some footage that shows you the 0 to 100 before, and now we're going to do a 0 to 100 after all these upgrades. There you have it, the BMW M2 performance test, the before and after. You've seen the results, now it's for you to decide which one you'd prefer. Thanks for watching and see you in our next episode. Cheers.